Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we'll be redoing, uh, un doing a unboxing video for my brand new Shinnick 10 inch box fan. Yes, I got this today. Um, so, you know, like as a personal utility fan to replace my, to replace the absolutely loud 20 inch last go I had, I have. Let's just read something in the box or same size. Shinnick box fan. Compact design, two speed front control, no assembly required, perfect for home and op or office. High velocity, upgrade to safety plug. ETL let listed. Green. It's a weird mint green. That shows that color. Yeah. Let's do the same thing. Made in China. For California consumers, warning, this product can expose you to chemicals including lead and for phthalates to are known include to, to the state of California to cause cancer, birth defects, and other reproductive harm. For more info, go to www.p65warnings.ca.gov slash product. Manufacturer, Shihau Electric Appliance, IMP, Import and Export Co. Limited, Address, no, <laughs> I'm not going to try to read all that. It is bulging, so it's not going to sit perfectly for some reason. Probably stuck with packing material. Let's slice open the sides here. Go down from the top. Cool. Hopefully that's all the, the splicing we're going to do today. That was just the cardboard ripping. Okay. Yeah, the camera be right in it. So what we have here. There's nothing else in the box, so throw that. Okay. Nothing in the bag. So we have a shaded pole motor. Okay, the cord was put in the handle. Um, already you can tell it's kind of flimsy. This kind of looks hideous. <laughs> oh, it's such a weird green. Well, Control. Can pretty much see like how everything was. It was completely exposed in there. Let's read the manual today. I'm not sure if that's. Am I. Did that say ne page negative one? Negative two. Usage, fan operation. For proper operation, should the fan should be placed on a smooth, non-combustible lower surface. You serious? Always unplug fan when not in use. Is used. Okay. I'm 
I'm not gonna read that. It's probably from smoke something though. So let's look at the fan. We have a shaded pole motor. There's the giant electromagnet. This is a nine inch blade diameter. This blade is not held on with any, I mean any sort of bolt, which is pretty much attached to the shaft like normal box fans with some sort of spring wrapped around it. Got a carry handle. Yeah, this fan is uh, pretty cheap. <laughs> Very squeezable. I don't know how you, oh yeah, those screws are really back there. Yeah, look how far in that goes. Yeah. Weird, ugly green. So let's get our power cord. We have our power, good old power cord. Just move this aside. So yeah, let's. Here's the fan itself. You have your shaded pull motor. Well, the front. You have the brand name. Your switch. Your nine-inch blade, which looks pretty cool. Actually, it's got some pointed tips. It's very cheap, flimsy plastic like this. Yeah. <laughs> Let's plug it in. You in frame. Yeah. So this one has got a nice carrying handle, which is actually quite good, actually. This is advertised as a 10 inch, but it's a 9 inch blade. Doesn't smell like China. Ooh, there's a tag on it. I should know this is more, more sticky. Do not remove this tag. You not know, operate with damage power cord on it. Oh, that fuse door is very. There's a fuse in here. Oh, that's one difficult fuse door. That's not good. <laughs> if something difficult it usually means poor quality. Why is this fan not already is? Not like this fan already is poor quality. I mean, good. I'm not gonna try and get that open today. Oh yeah, this is very difficult. Okay. We have a flathead. There we go. Yeah. There we go, you have your fuse plug. And a completely painted over non see through um, fuse so you don't know if it's gonna go so you don't know if the fan doesn't work when plugged in or turned on you don't know if the motor has gone bad or the fuse so that's helpful like every other single fan in this house okay let's make sure it's off it doesn't okay yeah so there's number one zero two so one off two Okay, let's bring out a power cord. Put it behind. Good. Have our fan. Let's turn it on. Actually. Scoot you a bit closer. Alright. Speed one. It's a fair amount of air. Got 
that went across the room. That's all low. That could be really quiet. It's got some good bearings to it. Speed two. That hums. That hums a lot. Just the blades. Oh, whoa. I do see an upcoming problem. So these blades are positioned. Kind of close to the grill. Yeah. Now it's, it's actually quite a quiet, a quiet fan. Here, just put it all the way back. Here's maximum. Doesn't, it doesn't vibrate much. You probably can't hear the air up there. Um, something I can angle it up on. Yeah. That spins for a long time. Yeah, it does. Alright, so now let's bring you guys down from your perch. So let's give this a really nice close up inspection. So here we have the fan. Um, here's the speed one. Kind of a difficult switch, so just moves. It's kind of good. It does have good bearings, I'll tell you that. Just from the rear. Listen to the motor hum. Here's low. Here's high. Yeah, it does have a bit of a rattle to it and a little buzz here. Not a bad fan. I'm sure. I, I, I will see that. <clears throat> so I'm going to readjust my camera stand here. So now. Um, we're gonna do the distance test. See just how you know good at of a distance it travels. So we're gonna test that. I'd say three feet, two, two feet from within the phone.
Good. Speed one. God, just spin this rubber. It's me too. Now, do a four foot distance test. This is what, like all the way across the desk? Nugget. Speed two. Good. Um, I don't have enough room for a big, for a bigger test. I don't think. I scoot this in a little bit. I have. There's my tape measure. Yeah, like four and a half feet. But, you know, that's enough. So, next thing we're doing is just, you know, doing some aspects of it. You know, I'm looking around. I'm looking. So, one thing I'll take note 
is the rubber feet on the bottom. There's only two. And they're not very good. That just, yeah, they, they slide right out, so you will lose them very easily. <laughs> QC cast, you know, use only 125 volt fuse. I sense a problem. This blade might be out of balance. Because you know how like, if a blade's not balanced, you know how it spins forever because that like so lightly unbalanced slide is going around and around. And when it goes down, it gets momentum. Yeah. And that's just me going crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just me going crazy. So, yeah, these feet don't really do work good and also you, you probably can't see on the inside of this fan you can see the switch pretty clearly right there and like not the motor who cares about the motor this motor's a motor you can see about a motor on every single fan on literally every single fan except for that one like who cares or that one <laughs> yeah it's a relatively cheap construction smack about smack the blade hub i don't know why but the back is boated a bit probably see that yeah i don't know why this juts out you know it's pretty symmetrical actually no it's not symmetrical on the front grill, because, cause, you know, that's giant curve, small curve, weird, 90 degree angle. That's nowhere near symmetrical. <laughs> the back, I'm pretty sure it is symmetrical. Nope. Sides, yeah, there's some. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? But yeah, you know, it's a it's a good fan. All right, well, this marks the end of the video for my for the review and unboxing video and honest opinion on the Shinnick ten inch box fan. Oh my god, this cable is very flimsy. Like it's not stiff at all. Yeah, this cable is like. It's like rope, look at this, just, like, I can kink that real easy. Hmm. So yeah, I'll give it a four, four out of five stars. It could improve on build quality, maybe make it a 10 inch, so you know, make it at least a good scale of a 20 inch box fan. Maybe give it three speeds, or, you know, yeah, 10 inch blade diameter instead of a nine. You know, make it at least a equi a ha equivalent half size to its big brother, the regular box with the twenty inch. Yeah, build quality ten inch size rec. I would want that maybe three speeds. Nothing else really. Maybe a good startup sound here. Yeah, it's a good fan. Probably a better cord cord quality. But yeah, that was the review on the Shinnick ten inch box fan. I'll see you guys again soon. Later.